Very, very soon you will be getting started on doing your own show. Doing the things. Which is very scary. Oh, it's no worry. I was telling everybody earlier. Um, you live quite a good distance from me. Yes. But Lindsay's only an hour away. So you can go bug the fuck out of her. Well, I, I mean, maybe. Maybe. I'll have to ask her about that. Apparently I have a giant black spot on my camera. No, it's it will it it's the, behind you. Is there a cap sitting on your desk on on the? Uh... Oh yes, you know what that is? That's actually my dad's wool cap. My mom gave that to me. My dad, it's those um newsboy caps. My dad always used to wear those, and he there was one hanging up at her house. So is there a I spot took... on the camera? No, that's my dad's old hat. Oh, it's I a hat in my living room, so I can see it all the time. Oh, Tara, tonight. Oh, oh my God! That just it. Are you ready for some awful things? Always, I love awful things. I'm going to hold you to that. Shall we begin? Because tonight, my God, let's do it. Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs. Finds all sorts of horrible stuff and brings it back here in a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And, again, this week... Crazy. I'm crazy for I love Breaking Bad. I, I, I've mentioned this before. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> okay. I, I'm, Which I'm, is crazy, because you don't really like things. Oh, come on. You're the grumpiest man in the world. Don't not. deny it. So this this happened. And it. Oh, OK. Um, X. Uh, well, it's not X. It's a East Texas teacher arrested for selling meth in school parking lot. I imagine he's an ex teacher now. East Texas <laughs> chemistry teacher arrested for selling meth. At a junior high school parking lot, William Duncan, 33, Ow. of Linden, is charged with manufacture and delivery of a controlled substance. After several tips, they went undercover and bought meth from Duncan. Uh, the school district has placed him on administrative release for now. Um, police so arrest he likes Breaking Bad, but he likes Breaking Bad. He thinks Walter White is a career role model and shit. That's the guy's name, right? Walter White? If it's one of the biggest television shows in the nation, if the guy, if they win Emmy after Emmy, if people know the plot, don't no. emulate that shit. No, he was obviously doing, like, the hidden in plain sight thing. Like, how fucking dumb would you have to be to be exactly the guy from Breaking Bad? Nobody will see that shit coming. Bam. Well, obviously, someone did. Well, yes, that is the problem with the hidden in plain sight plan, is some people actually look in plain sight, and you can get thwarted that way. Now, apparently, he wasn't selling it to the kids, thank God, but this was a matter of, don't shit where you eat, because he was selling it right in the parking lot of the school where he worked. That's not smart. That's not. That's the opposite of smart. You should take that to the neighboring school. <laughs> Shouldn't be any school at all. Man. And you would think if this guy had been watching Breaking Bad and going, hey, that's a good way to get money, he would also realize that Walter White's life kind of sucks. Does it? Yes. People are trying to shoot him and kill him, and he's turned into a fucking sociopath, and yeah. Why would you really you... turn into a sociopath? I mean, don't you kind of have to already be a sociopath? Like, I don't think that's communicable. Television teaches me that this is indeed possible. I don't think you can become a sociopath if you weren't already. No, I don't think the TV would lie to me. It's my friend. The TV would lie to you, and I'll explain to you why. Watch any sitcom, and you will find some ugly, moronic schlub with the social skills of a wet raisin... And inevitably, he has a ridiculously hot wife who puts up with his shit and cleans the house and takes care of all the kids. And that shit is not reality. 
Life don't work like that, kids. In reality, everybody would beat the shit out of Raymond. Yeah. Yeah. Mainly just for that voice. But, you know. Although he is a Mets fan, so. Okay, the next. Carrie, you're describing Nash and J.O. Oh, burn. How about that? Is that that's a kinda, burn? We have a. What, that's kind of harsh. No. This whole. Unnecessary, kids. Okay, so you want flat out plain stupid? Sure, it's kind of what we do. Um. I anticipate some on a boat jokes, but this is actually kind of. Well, you might be on the boat, but not for very long. It's from New York. New oh, York. Open hatch sank Port Authority's five hundred thousand dollar boat. Five hundred thousand dollar Port Authority patrol boat sank this month after a veteran police sergeant took the advice of a clueless civilian safety instructor and opened a hatch while it was underwater. It's like opening a. That's a bad idea. It was like opening a window during a car wash. Nobody was seriously injured, but eight cops and three civilians had to either swim to safety or be rescued from the 37-foot M2 model Moose Boats craft. Well, don't name your boat after a moose, for one thing. Sank 40 feet to the ocean floor, about 30, 300 yards offshore. Oh, this is Pennsylvania? I believe it's PA. It says PA. No, Port Authority. No, it's New York. Port Authority. Uh, so Port Queens Port is not in Pennsylvania. No, I know the south. I know down in the south, you think everything up here is New York City. Like, oh, Delaware, that's in New York City, right? Well, but how come? Fact, no, there are things that are not New York City. How come everybody? How come everybody who's from Brooklyn, New York, uh, Brooklyn, Queens, any of the boroughs, they all say they're from New York. You're not from New York. You're part of New York. They are from New York. Those are all boroughs of New York City. Uh cities under themselves damn it. anyway anyway off topic um the sergeant who opened the hatch is expected to face disciplinary action he refused they refuse to identify him he will likely lose vacation days for failing to maintain supervisory control and basically abiding his com abdicating his command to a civilian no why would you think that was a good idea like i have no training in running a boat I drove a motorboat once when I was nine, and I almost flipped it and drowned my sister. I, I have no boat expertise, and yet I am aware that you don't open the door to the outside while you're underwater. Kind of like I have no training as a pilot, but I'm aware, unlike Mitt Romney, that you don't open the window to the airplane while it's 30,000 feet in the air, and there's a reason for that. Like Some things are just common sense. You're underwater. You open the hatch, what's going to happen? Water is going to come in. You don't want that. Getting, right? That seems fairly obvious. He's getting vacation days for sinking a $500,000 boat. He will lose vacation days. Not fired. Not, not. I mean, that should really be fired because that's pretty fucking stupid not even suspended my seven-year-old nephew could tell you you don't open the door to the outside while the boat's underwater not not e lose vacation days that shit happened to you or me what would happen fired fired well i don't know maybe if we had that job we would just lose vacation days maybe i'm in the wrong line of work maybe i should be running boats because apparently i know more about it than people that professionally run boats this scares me about the cops if they can they can sink a fucking boat for five hundred thousand dollars and they keep their job holy well, shit he's not a port authority oh police sergeant okay yeah. wow it's a okay. cop nypd is getting some bad fucking press lately dude it is not a good time to be NYPD because it's just we're getting some bad press. Well, it could be worse because it could be Florida. Speaking of Florida, look at that segue. Look at that segue. Um, we have mark you yourself on that segue. We have long dealt with this over and over and over again. No, it's not naked. No, it's not things don't go in your pants. 
<laughs> Florida man calls 911 because daughter refuses to get him beer. The, authorities, the man told authorities he needed help with the domestic situation, but deep down, all he apparently wanted was a beer. Pinellas deputies uh, said late Thursday night, they got a call not from 911 from uh, Robert Hagerman, 56. Again, 56, old enough to fucking know better. Look, all he wanted was a Pepsi. Just a Pepsi. She wouldn't give it to him. Hagerman said he needed help because his daughter was hitting him, throwing things and using drugs. Deputies arrived shortly after 11 p.m. and the both father and daughter was home. Hagerman, however, was, quote, very intoxicated, uncooperative, uncooperative. Authorities quickly determined his story was a lie. The daughter told deputies her dad called police because she wouldn't buy him a beer. She used okay, herself. I was going to say that actually, if she's hitting him and throwing things and shit, nope. I call him on one. But if that's not true, then not so much. She used her cell phone to record his threats to make false state, fake statements to the police and played the audio for authorities. Smart girl. Luckily, that apple seems to have fallen pretty damn far from the tree. When you try to lie to the cops, if you're going to lie to the cops, don't do so in such a way that it's demonstrably false. Well, she probably was stealth recording. Like, she probably wasn't like, I'm recording this. Well, not that. It was just, she's on drugs and she's throwing things. She's hitting me. I think the on drugs are really quick one to, to, to dismiss out of hand. Yes, that's true. This guy's in it. Maybe just go and get your own damn beer. Yeah. Fuck's sake. I mean, Jesus Christ. You don't just call the cops on your daughter. On your daughter. Get off your little ass and make your own damn. Well, not make your own damn beer. Get your own. damn. You could make your own beer, too. I mean, that's you a could. hobby. Yes. And but it would not. Mostly, you should just get your own damn beer. And it would not entail a jail term, I don't think. Probably not. No. I just fucking hell. I, I man, I'm. Did he get arrested? Yeah, he was arrested on charge of making a false report of a crime. Good. He was in the Pinellas County Jail on Friday afternoon in lieu of a hundred and fifty dollars bail. You know he asked his daughter for the hundred and fifty dollars. You know. Can, can I borrow? Probably. Probably, can I, yeah. Can I borrow $150? No, fuck you. Actually, you know what I'm spending that $150 on? Beer. For me. <laughs> Actually, the appropriate response to that is... <laughs> I'm sorry. I blew my last $150 on beer that I'm going to drink while you're yeah. in jail. Sorry. And that, of course, we we can't have this show without naked. It's it just doesn't seem possible anymore, does it? Yeah, it doesn't. I I'm not exactly sure where this comes from, but there's a beach involved. Vero Beach is that Florida or is that California? Vero Beach, I believe, is Florida. That's Florida. Yep. So we're Florida again. Yes, because it's near Sarasota. Yeah, there you go. What's up, a man? Ran naked around a condominium pool. Was arrested after being linked to damaged video cameras. George Zinneman, 21, was recorded oh, on video. he's not that bad looking. Well, he was recorded on video uh, September 13th at the Fairways condo pool deck. He was a male friend, and he was with a male friend, and both looked to be drinking. After running around the pool deck nude together to defend its friend, noticed the video cameras hanging from the wall that were recording the two of them. It wasn't immediately clear why they were nude. Okay, here's how a camera works. It records something, be it on film, be it on tape, be it digitally, it records something. By smashing the camera after the fact, that does not make the camera not have recorded. You, It's not a time travel thing. Smashing the camera won't undo you getting well, if it's recording to a tape and you ruin the tape inside then yes well, this is a security if it's recording camera. to a, if it's recording to a drive somewhere else then no it's a security camera that that you can't break the lens and be like yes it's undone logic that is 
not how that works. Also, you know, I, I have... Running around naked with another guy in public. That's okay, but I have never been out with someone of the opposite sex that I was dating and said, hey, want to go running around naked? I've never said that. That's never occurred to me. So if they were a couple, that's just weird. And if they weren't a couple, that's just weirder. Because again, I've never turned to my buddy and said, hey, you want to go running around naked? No. No. Man, have I you? Do like, have you I ever do that like every weekend? Have you ever looked at one of your girlfriends and said, "Hey, let's go down Times Square, run around naked." What do you think? You've Obviously. Never... How do you think I met Sasset? <laughs> it's just it I it's never why? Because booze probably. No, no, this is another case of I've been very drunk. I've never been that. I don't think it's possible to be that drunk. It, you re Really? You don't think it's possible to be drunk enough to be like, dude, let's go swimming naked. Really? That's not that drunk. Swimming People naked do is that all the time. Swimming naked is one thing. Running around smashing cameras naked. There's actually a pretty logical progression of events here. They were clearly swimming in the pool. I, it doesn't sound like they were running laps around the pool. They were probably like running out, jumping back in, running out, jumping, whatever. Marco you know, like, Polo, Marco Penis. Drunk and smash them. So this one kind of makes sense to me, actually. I think this could easily happen to people. No, I don't actually run around naked all the time, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that. Sorry. Oh, oh, to dash your dreams in such a way. Um, I feel like I, I don't know why I'm saying I'm sorry for that. Because I'm not. But, you know, whatever. Okay. We've had this before. But the picture for this story. Kind of drives it fucking home. Um, drug mules. Get a lot of drug mule stories on this show. Um... And a lot of ingesting things to get through security of one form or another. Mm -hmm. However, I think this is the first time I've ever been confronted about just how big this is. I'm, I'm getting reports that you have been pantsless at a con or two. Lies. Man faces drug importing charges for allegedly th swallowing 66 condoms filled with cocaine. And I'm going to put Didn't this kill you? I'm going to put this on the big screen just so you get how what an idea of how big this is. That my friends is a condom full of cocaine. Just all kinds of cocaine right up in um did you see the video of the guy who did the Coke and Mentos thing in a condom? No. He got tired of, he wanted to fit more Mentos in the Coke and he could only, he could never get past one before the bottle exploded. So he, he electrical taped a condom around the top of the bottle and, and he got as far as eight Mentos and the condom just like, and then blew up. It was pretty sweet. You just wander away. Sorry. You were, you were like, it's it's like you're the anti-GPS. You're going the exact opposite direction. I, I, I didn't take my ADD meds today. Sorry. 35-year-old man has been charged with drug offenses after allegedly attempting to import 765 grams of cocaine by swallowing 66 condoms filled with the drug. Um, RCMP said the suspect, a Mexican resident who was to appear in court Friday, took a big chance attempting to import the drugs by swallowing condoms. If one of the pellets ruptured and the contents leaked out, it would likely be fatal. This is a dangerous practice. Absolutely. Um, yeah. The man eventually expelled the condoms filled with cocaine and was turned over to the police. Notice they don't say which end the expulation is that the is that a word expulation? 
Expelling? Exp expulsion. Expulsion. There we go. I talk good English. There's no no definite which end the expulsion came from. I imagine had it come out the way it went in, they would have said regurgitated. Yeah, they would have said regurgitated. I think it's pretty obvious. Because again, we, but, like, I, I don't like. Oh, that's I don't under. I really people that do this freak me out because there are so many different ways that could kill you. Like one doesn't go all the way down. You choke to death. You die. One bursts in your stomach. You fucking OD and die. One bursts anywhere else in your digestive tract. You die. You die, die, die. One gets stuck trying to come out. You probably die. Like. Wow, that is one. Is that your is... life worth? Fifteen to eighteen thousand dollars. An impacted bowel, thanks to a cocaine-filled condom. Is that how you want to die? Is that what you want in your obit? That's not died because of an ass full of cocaine. Come on. Well, at the very least, you will give coroner students for the next decade immense amusement. <sighs> they will definitely have something to talk about. I understand it's a lucrative business, but. My God. Can't you, like, instead of getting one guy to swallow 66 condoms, for fuck's sake, find 66 people at the very least. I don't think, well, I can't imagine it'd be that easy to find 66 people willing to do this. I mean, are you going to swallow a condom full of cocaine? Oh, man. Oh, dear. Oh, this is this makes it even worse. I'm not going to swallow a condom full of cocaine. The cocaine was worth between... Fifteen thousand and eighteen thousand dollars. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, put a little more value on your life. That's just low self-esteem. That's a used car. That's not even a new car. That is. That's. Like. That's just low self-esteem, and I feel bad for you. <laughs> We're not even in the millions here. We're not even in the six digits. I know. We're not even in a Mercedes here. If you if you are shoving this much cocaine in yourself for five digits, you are just looking for an interesting suicide, is what it comes down to. Um. Okay, the last one. This is what everyone has been waiting for, and I say that with uh, with great horror and trepidation, because um. This, the, the cocaine story was about something going in this way. This story. I, I don't need I say any more. From New Zealand. Oh. Hospital <gasps> removes eel from man's bum. The rectal eels are back together. A man sought emergency <laughs> treatment at a hospital in Auckland this week with an eel stuck up his bottom. The unnamed individual presented himself at the A&E department at Auckland City Hospital to explain his embarrassing pop problem. It is believed the patient was sent for x-rays and a scan, probably involving a whole lot of laughter, which showed there was an eel lodged inside him. Man, when your MRI op operator just is, is cracking up in the other room, you know you've done fucked up. Um... The eel, uh, this is a weird explanation, this is a weird description of this. The eel was about the size of a decent sprig of asparagus. What the fuck is that? Who measures shit in asparagus? Is that a, is that a, is that a unit of measurement now? Oh, it was about three decent sprigs of asparagus. What? <laughs> and the incident was a talk of the place. Doctors and nurses have come across people with strange objects that have gotten stuck there where they shouldn't be before, but an eel has to be a first. This is the line of the story. It is unclear how the eel managed to be trapped inside the man. Really? Well, okay, I, I feel like this isn't one of those situations where, like, if it was, like, a flashlight or a cucumber, I'd be like, her, her, her. But it's an eel. And as 
I understand it. I don't have a great deal of experience with eels, but as I understand it, they're not particularly turgid creatures. So I'm feeling like it was probably a candiro fish type situation. Really? Here. You think? Because he didn't seem to know it was there. Really? You think? Yeah. I don't think you could shove an eel up your ass on purpose, is what I'm saying. <sighs> Unless you hit it with a paralytic or something. I, I guess I. Why am I thinking that through? And here's the best part. The last paragraph of this story. Eels migrate up streams as elvers to find suitable adult habitat. After many years, they migrate to the Pacific Ocean to breed and die. <laughs> Eels are secretive, nocturnal, and prefer habitats with plenty of cover. They su they hunt by smell rather than sight. What the fuck? Somebody was padding the word count. <laughs> you just wrote an article about a man with an eel in his asshole. Somebody was told they needed to write like a 400 word story and they got up to like 258. <laughs> And was adding the word count. Yeah. According to the Department of Conservation website, there are two main types of eel found in New Zealand. The short fin and the long fin. There's an eel in a guy's butt! <laughs> well, it's important to know if it was a short fin or a long fin. It doesn't say! And it's important to note that the electric eel is apparently not indigenous to the area because holy crap. Yeah, oh god, I like Can you gold. even imagine... <laughs> I don't want to. Don't make me. But now you are. You know what? That's this is like a punishment for for kids that 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 want to hit their hit their children. It's like, can you imagine having an eel, electric eel in your butt? And the kids, no, oh, I don't want to imagine. It's like torture. I don't <laughs> want to imagine this shit. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Okay. Well, I guess the first thing we've learned is that. Um, eels migrate upstream as elvers to find suitable adult habitat. After many years, they migrate. <laughs> we learned that. We actually learned. Holy shit. Tonight, we actually fucking learned something. We learned about eels. We actually did learned something. Electric eel and guy's asshole. Best superhero origin story ever. <laughs> <laughs> that that I would read that comic book. Man, Stan Lee is going, huh? There's an idea. Like the superhero that can only fire lightning out of his ass because of the eel that lives there. Actually, you know, the Grant Morrison sounds like an image comic. One. No, no, Grant Morrison would write that. Grant, yeah, he would write this fucking story. Mm. Somebody um, get him on the phone. We've learned that uh, TV. Lies. And it's not a Yes. It's not a really good object lesson for how to do things. No. Even Mythbusters. It's you know, the King of Queens is on TV, and if you're telling me Lee Remerney would marry Kevin James. Are we getting to the point where all our TV shows are gonna have to start with this television show is a work of fiction. Please do not attempt any of the behaviors shown in this television show. Dude, I saw a Jeep commercial last Christmas where like the power went out because there was a snowstorm and they drove the Jeep up the house to like re fi to fix the wire or something. And there was actually a disclaimer that said, do not attempt to drive up your house. Evolution has failed us. And or we failed evolution. I think. Speaking of which, don't open hatches that are submerged in water. Jack tried it on Lost. Didn't work out. Almost drowned him and Juliet. And while Jack drowning himself would be kind of awesome, Juliet was a really great character and that would have sucked. Everything comes back to Lost with you. It's always it's, Lost. It, it, I'm not going to lie. The second I heard the word hatch. <laughs> that's that, my yeah, brain goes, yeah, that's, that's hatch. Weird. I'm like typing in the numbers and pressing the button and, you know, it's Pavlovian. Uh, we, we've learned that... Um, if you try to get your daughter arrested because she won't go to buy beer, she's not bailing you out. Mm. $150. That's just sad, man. 
if, if you don't have the means to get out by your, it, and I ain't bailing you out, Dad. I'll see you tomorrow. Fuck you. Maybe they'll give you beer in jail. Yeah, you know, yeah. Um, we've learned that <sighs> apparently, if you drink enough, running around naked with a friend sounds like a good idea. I, I just never, I've never drank that much. And I've drank enough to proclaim myself the King of Kings, Jesus Christ. I have, in fact, done this. And even I wouldn't have good, no. Um, and finally tonight, we learned if you're going to stuff your body with a potentially lethal substance, hold out for seven, well, uh, hold out for seven figures. Or just don't stuff your body with a potentially lethal substance. How about that? How about just don't do that? No, hold out for seven figures is, is my take on that. I'm going to go with just don't do that. Be sure? Seven yes. Figures. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Huh? Not that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Electric eel, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ow! Like with the little Batman, the old Batman show. Zot. Ow! <laughs> Suddenly, Black Vulcan just got a whole lot more interesting. <laughs> what would the bad guys on Electric Eel Man be like? You definitely need, like, an evil proctologist. <laughs> Move his source of power. 